See where I keep my router bits? On a magnet strip right there. This here is my CNC router and this is the dust collection system for it. I recently had to route a bunch of MDF and the dust collection would not keep up, so an upgrade is today's project. Some of you who have been around the channel a while may recognize this from last year when I upgraded from a, a small shop vac to this central vacuum cleaning system uh, vacuum source. Um, this is going to go away. The theme baffle is alright, but we are going to upgrade the uh, hoses. We'll start by taking it apart. Okay, now we've got the old stuff out. Um, here's a new uh, wall-mounted five-gallon, five-horse shop vac. We'll install that. It's kind of cool this has a remote control on it, but I doubt I'll ever use it, because I'm just dedicating it to this. Here, we'll turn it on and try it. Oh man, that is way quieter and way stronger than the other vacuum. Now moving on here, the way we had this interface from the theme baffle up onto the gantry, uh, that's a pretty good arrangement. And uh, one thing that's really nice, they gave me a couple hoses with this uh, new vac, and this one is really springy. So uh, this is going to be the interface hose up to the new um, whatever you call this. Now this here is my old interface from the vacuum source to the actual router. And uh, it had its good points, you know, it's uh, made, I made it on the router. Yeah, the hose just plugged in here. This uh, sweep uh, pops off, it's held on with magnets. Um, one of the issues was that the uh, bristles are too short, so I have a new set of 3 inch bristles that I'm going to use. And I'm going to have to remake this whole thing to accommodate the larger size hose. Now one thing we're going to have to do is enlarge the hose inlet to the theme baffle, so we'll just get this out of here. Now I need to enlarge this hole, but when, when there's a hole already there, it, your, uh, my Forstner bit has no, no place for the point to grab. So what we'll do is we'll uh, put a drill guide there, and we'll just screw that on. I've already drilled that with the Forstner bit, and that will uh, hold the Forstner bit in place. And there we go, nice snug fit for the new hose, which is larger. And we'll just remount this, put it back together and remount it. Okay, and we'll just hook this up, see how much hose we're going to need. That looks like a good amount right there. Just cut that off. Now I'd really like to use this, this flexi hose here, I just wish I had more of it because uh, I'd like to use it both here and over here where it interfaces to the router itself, but uh, I, don't, I don't have enough. In fact, uh, just to do this, I really think that what I need to do is make a kind of a shelf support out here to keep this from rubbing up against my drag chain. Now what I've decided to do for the interface is I've just put a, an LB on the end of this. That way the hose can come straight down out of the LB. So we'll have the flexi hose going in this way. And then we'll have this hanging over the top. Then a short piece of hose coming out of the LB into the uh, router interface. And that definitely needs some support on it. So I'm going to have to build something for that. So I want to give some support to the hose. I made this little shelf that, uh, that it'll, it'll sit on. OK, 
Okay, now that should work fairly well. Now to attach this hose, we'll just uh, load this up with a bunch of silicone. Put a good amount in there. Spread it around. Insert the hose and we'll tape the hose in place. Okay, we'll leave that to set up for a while, and uh, while that's drying, I'll go create the CAD model of the new router to vacuum interface. That's looking pretty good. The shelf is holding... Yeah, this is as far, as, as far away as it'll be. Okay, so looking at this, uh, the inside there is just a little bit smaller than the outside here, so I think I'm going to just take this over to the uh, belt sander and sand it down until it fits. Okay, now I sanded that down a little bit and uh, it fits fairly well. We'll just put some solvent cement on there to lube it up and stick it together. So I made the CAD model of the new dust shoe and its associated sweep and I'll uh, put that up here in the corner. Uh, and now what I need to do is uh, cut it out. And something that occurred to me as I was preparing to do that is I probably should have cut it out before I disassembled the vacuum system because now I'm going to have a real dust mess. Okay, so here are my two pieces. This one clamps onto the router itself and has the hose glued into it. Then this one has the, uh, the sweep whiskers uh, forced into there. And then uh, the, the only other thing is we will put uh, neodymium magnets on both these so they stick together. Now here I have my neodymium magnets uh, planted in there. I just drilled in a, whole, a little ways and pressed them in. And now I've got the second course, which will be embedded in the other half, stuck to them. Now what I'm going to do from here is I'm just going to set the sweep onto it and uh, come in with spray paint and spray the edge and hopefully that will leave the impression of where the edge of the magnets are and then I'll drill the corresponding holes in this side and press them in. And you see it left an impression of where the holes are, where the holes need to be. Now one thing you want to make absolutely certain of is that you get the polarity of the magnets right. They don't all have to be the same, but they all have to be corresponding to, the, uh, to their mate. And what I'm doing as I peel each one of these off is I flip it over. So the side that was down on this side will be up on this side. I've never had to glue them in. I just drill the hole a little bit small and press them in. Now, we'll have a look. That's a nice tight fit. That is going to work just fine. Okay, so we'll go ahead and install this on the router. Now looking here, you can see this kind of hose is way more slinky than uh, this other stuff that I used up here. And I wish I had some more of that, but I only had enough to do the X or the Y axis. Because uh, take a look at what happens on the X. See, it's, it's got this... I mean, there's, there's plenty of hose to cover the distance, but if it was this slinky stuff, it would stretch out and collapse back down on itself. And i got to find some more of that to replace this. You can even see this, this hose is applying so much pressure on the, uh, on the dust shoe that is pushing down on it. That's looking good. I just need to install the sweep on this, and uh, this project's done. Okay, here I've got my whiskers, and I know from the CAD model that the distance around this is just a little under 18 inches. So I'll, I'll cut 18 inches of this, and then we'll bend it into place and, uh, and just kind of force it in.
And there we go. Now let's try it out. Well that came together just the way I hoped and the only drawback is that one piece of hose. I really wish I could find some of that extra slinky kind. Um, I only need about 18 inches of it so if anybody out there has some and you want to uh, donate it, swap it, or sell it to the cause, uh, please contact me. Um, it's 1 7 8 inch diameter. It's off the uh, Craftsman 5 horsepower wall mounted shop vac. Um, if you need some of this uh, three inch whisker sweet material, maybe we could swap for that or something. Anyway, that's all for this week. Thanks for stopping in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.